This is a hyperopic orthokeratology case on a patient who's had LASIK and is right now a little bit hyperopic. Pre and post treatment topographies show a minimal change in case, just not getting very much treatment. And so here's the lens that the patient's wearing in the left eye. Pretty standard hyperopic ortho K design. And what we should do is increase the demand. And I found that with hyperopic ortho K, it does seem to work a little bit better if the lens doesn't move around very much. So uh, I think a small lens is fine. Uh, we can hit the edge button. That'll help to bring the edge down onto the cornea a little bit more uniformly, and then bring the edge thickness way down too. So uh, traditionally with ortho K, something like this can sometimes cause us trouble by binding onto the cornea. And Binding does make the lens a little bit harder to remove. Um, on a post LASIK patient, having a lens that fits really tight and is difficult to remove in the morning is, I don't know if that's good or bad. It might be neither. Um, just remind the patient to use rewetting drops, blinking, and maybe even a little bit of massage to the eyelid on the outside of the lens, outside the diameter of the lens to make sure the lens is not bound before before removal and probably don't want to pop this lens off the cornea, especially someone who's had LASIK. So while the video was paused, I just clicked down on the red dot and gave, us our, gave ourselves another diopter and a half of topo demand uh, for hyperopia. So those are probably the changes I would make at first on this lens, see if it'll stay put a little bit more and if the increased demand will get us a little bit more steepening at the center of the cornea. So hopefully that's helpful. Best of luck with your patient. Thanks for watching.